Hello, and I am Nick, and this is Lily, and this is Alexandria, and we are doing the MCC Kings competition for Read Between the Lines located in Woodstock, Illinois. So, we're going to start out with the company analysis. Now, what I noticed about the strengths was a lot of people, especially on the Google reviews, said that the ice cream was very good and that's one of the main draws that you guys actually have is from people wanting to get your ice cream so it's very good. And another one is that it's a comfortable atmosphere. Now a lot of people think that your store once they walk in looks very clean, looks very organized and if you just keep that up that looks awesome. And then we also have very skilled employees. That's another thing that people wrote on Google reviews is that your employees were very helpful and very nice to them. And also, you have a good delivery process, so when a person orders a book, you know that your book will get there on time and it won't arrive very late. And then the next thing we noticed were your weaknesses. Now, on our survey that we did, one of the main things that people kind of were saying didn't look the best was your actual storefront. So right when they walk in the store, before they actually walk in, when you're just looking at on the outside, people say that it looks very bland. So basically, we just need to add a little bit more color, a little bit more interesting stuff in the windows and stuff, and to make it more appealing. So a lot of people don't think it's appealing, it's just bare. And then another thing is, is the coffee and hot chocolate recipe. Now, a lot of people said on Google reviews that the coffee slash hot chocolate tasted like water. So that's definitely one of the things that we will want to change up to make the coffee and hot chocolate taste very good. And another thing is not enough media advertising. Now, literally, out of 75 people, 100% of the people did not hear your business. Now, that is an absolutely huge problem that we have because if no one knows about our business, why would we go to it? Because we don't even know it's there. So we definitely need to spend more money and more time and energy on our media advertising. Also, we don't have enough information on our store. Actually, on, our, on your website, on Read Between the Lines, there is currently no About Us page. So, me being just a random Joe Smo coming in on your website, I won't know what your goals are. I don't know what your passions are. And that's something that a lot of people really like with small businesses is they know what your passions are. And next is our opportunities. Our opportunities, once we update and add to our website, it's gonna be very solid. A lot of people are gonna look at it and they're gonna be like, wow, like this is full of information, it has everything that I need right here and in a well-organized fashion. So then everyone, everyone will be able to find what they need to find. Um, and we want to revise your rewards program because your current rewards program not necessarily in the best shape and not a lot of people use your rewards program. Also, we want to add more ice cream flavors since a lot of people rave about your guys' ice cream. You could probably make a lot more profit if you add some more ice cream flavors in there and keep those people coming in for more ice cream. Also, more seating options on our survey that we did. A lot of people stated that they would love to actually stay in your store, read between the lines, and drink their coffee or ice cream. But since there's not a lot of seating options, a lot of times people can't do that, which essentially means they won't spend more money because they'll stay in your store and be like, hmm, I want to buy something else. And also, seasonal books. This is another thing that a lot of companies use is seasonal products. Now, what this will essentially do is keep things fresh in the store year-round. So whenever someone walks in, let's say in summer, it'll be different than when they first walk in in the winter time. Some of our major weaknesses are from the 35 students that were surveyed, 100% have never heard of us. And that's a huge issue if we want to bring our store. Not enough selection of books online and in store has made a lot of issues with our customers. So we definitely would really want to fix that. Also, from the Google reviews, we have heard that the coffee and hot chocolate apparently tastes like water, so we really would need to change up the recipe.
there is no about us on the website and a lot of our customers would really want to know what we're talking about, what our whole store is about. And we would want to add a $20, a $20 rewards program. So for the solution for for our rewards program problem, so what I was thinking, or what we were thinking, for every dollar you spend, you get one point, and for every 50 points, you get a free ice cream. Now this can um, change periodically throughout the month, and or throughout each month, and see what we like and we, what we can test with. So the reward, and then what we were also thinking was a good idea was having rewards for a referral program. So if you, you refer your friend to the store, and they can check it out, they, you both get a reward for going to that store, going to the store. However, I also think, since I since I know people really enjoy the birthday programs, free two scoop ice cream on their birthday, on the person's birthday. And then uh, for the discount part for our rewards program, I was thinking we could roll out each month every different savings each month, in which we could always revise to what you guys like and what the company needs in that moment in that month. So, here is the solutions for the problems that we have addressed earlier. So, one of the things is putting up more social media advertisements. Now, what was really troubling me when I was researching for this is not a lot of sites actually have a lot of advertising for books. So, what this essentially means is putting up more social media advertisements, you would have to find certain social media platforms, and my idea for that was so essentially Google has this thing where it tracks whatever you look up. Now it will give you the advertisement for whatever you look up to make you look more interested in it so it can be like, hey, you know, you were looking up this earlier, well here's, here's a store that has this. So I was thinking that maybe we could do that for Google so when people look up something, they would actually be able to put our ad in there if they're looking for books. Oh, well, here's read between the lines. Go to our online store and you can go ahead and buy something. Also, obviously change the recipe for products like hot chocolate and coffee. This is a major problem that we do really need to address. Um, we need to expand ice cream selection, as we said before. If we add more ice cream, then in turn will mean that we will get more profit because a lot of people say that they really love their ice cream and they always come back for your ice cream. An update storefront, it's very bare, boring, not many people like it. So if we can change it, add more color, add more wow, add that wow factor to it, that could in turn make people look at the store and be like, hmm, that place looks really cool, I want to check out what it looks like inside. And that's where our store really shines. Also, we decided to add a renting book program. Now essentially what this does is it adds continuous revenue constantly. Because a lot of people, they're like, I don't really want to spend like this amount of money on a book, you know, because I'm just going to read it and then I'll put it away. Now, what this essentially does is we'll have a certain selection of books that a customer can then choose from. Now, what this customer can do is they'll be like, I want to read this book and then run it out for a period of a day or a week. Now, obviously, the price will be cheaper for the day versus the week but it will be an upfront price and they'll pay it, they'll be able to bring the book home and if there's any damage to the book like water spillage, etc., like your dog ate your book, then obviously they'll have to pay for it. Now, add seating options, if more people sit around, more people will spend money and also they'll be able to go on their computer. Now, if you go to Starbucks or, or something like that, you'll notice a lot of people will go on their computer and do their work and sip on some coffee. Now what this will do essentially is, let's say you finish your coffee and you're working. Wouldn't you want another coffee if you're not done with your work? You're still tired, might as well have another coffee, it's a good price. Now also add an About Us page so then your average customer will then know your knowledge or know your motives on your stores. So like if you're donating to this certain kind of uh, thing then they will be able to they'll be able to notice that and they'll be like okay this is cool this is helping out our community not just your business for our adventures mainly we have an amazing atmosphere which most people haven't really noticed 
Um, most people, most like come to the bookstore for the amazing ice cream. It is something that a lot of the Google reviews have complimented. We have good community interaction. A lot of the people in the community know about the store, love this bookstore, and the staff is always really friendly. We have um, nice and respectful employees. Like I said, the staff is really friendly. They know where all the books are. They know all the information on the books, which could really help out our customers. We have fast delivery process if we don't have any of the books in stock. Like if they want a specific book, we could always deliver it to them or they can pick it up. Another advantage is our new rewards program will really bring in more customers to buy more books and rent more books. All right, so, and now this is go, goes on to our new opportunities. We were thinking we could possibly add a chatbot to the website, which can, which can really add a feeling of connection to the website that people need and help people connect and figure out what they want and what they need, which is huge in customer service. Including, as I mentioned before, our new rewards program will add more and more flavor to our business, and it will continue to reiterate the customer service value. I believe that the free in-store pickup will definitely furthermore expand our business with our customers for any, for any book, not just in the store. And then I was also thinking for our for our opportunities, we could do books for troops, especially so for every book someone buys, we donate a book for a certain period of time. I also believe school fundraisers and local school book shows, or local school art shows, would be a huge advantage because I know that's a highlight for some, for some of these communities. Cruise night was another huge was another huge um, fundraiser that we could do where we could have, we could put the books inside the cars and not even people that are not car people like to come check out these books. I mean, like to check out these books and these cars throughout periods of time. And I also think, and I know you guys already do this, but we could also expand on this and have some very cool authors come and read books and sign books, which could be expanded on even further more. Including Groundhog Day festivities. We could bring, possibly bring in some of the actors from the old, from the movie, which would could also be really looked into and worked out with the people, with the actors. And then finally, I think raffles and job fairs would help a lot with the connecting the community to the people and to the store. So, our marketing plan essentially is we want to add an about us. Now, our customers, once again, they don't know what, what we're doing to help, out the to help out the community, and this will let them know what we're doing. Also, we want to provide better online goods. Since, obviously, you can only put so many books in a store, this is a huge opportunity for us to put a whole bunch of books that we don't have in store and they could use the chat bot, look up whatever book that they want, and the chat bot will bring them over to that book. You can go ahead and put it in your cart and buy that book right there. And also we have a, uh, we want to revise a subscription service. Now, with your current um, subscription service of $20, and, um, $20 a year, it, not a lot of people want to do it because why would you want to pay $20 for something that really should be free and essentially is at every other store free? Now, I honestly think if we make it free to your average customer, they'll want to come back and they'll be like, oh shoot, we got these coupons, let's, let's get a book, might as well, we have $5 off of a book or something like that. Also, we want to advertise in popular areas where a large group of people will be able to see our advertisements and think, you know what, I might check that out, I was looking for a book. Also, revise recipes to make it more advertisable because currently we can't really say, oh, like we also have like coffee and hot chocolate because we don't want to falsely 
think that our coffee slash hot chocolate's really good in a huge draw, and then people will be more disappointed, and then we'll get more negative reviews on Google, which that's obviously not what we want. And then also make profit with all these with all these ideas that we have. You'll definitely be seeing the results in the profit margins. For our new services offered, we are offering a rewards program that can bring in a lot more customers. We could also add a chat box in the website for future ideas that customers would want. We also would need to really update our website so our consumers would know what we are about, what we sell, basically just to know, to know more about us. Something that we could also add is book rentals and a more ice cream selection. Book rentals would really add up more profit, especially including the rewards program. For the more ice cream selection, a lot of people come in for ice cream, so it would be a really good idea to change our ice cream selection. Expand new seating options. More, most people would want to get an ice cream, coffee, hot chocolate, or anything and read a book and sit down or work on homework or hang out with friends there. Something we could also do is more media advertisements in order to gain more customers. A lot more people go through social media and they would really want to go to new places near them. So it would bring in a lot more customers. A cruise night. It would just bring the community together. Groundhog Day festivities would show that we're patriotic, would show that we care about our citizens, books for troops. It'll bring everybody together. It'll bring in a lot more customers soon. Raffles, it would mostly just improve our sales. It would show customers the types of books that we also carry, change the recipe for hot chocolate and coffee. It would bring in more people for the seating options to come in. Now, this is, this is in our action plan. Now, once we rework the membership plan, that will definitely bring in a lot more customers, making your profit margins go up, and also, in turn, if you rework your membership program, they might recommend it to their friends or their peers, and then they'll be like, dang, these, these people are actually giving pretty good deals, you know. I want to get myself a free ice cream, so I want to I join that program. Also, update website. This will also help with our online profits, which is what we really want here. And once we update our website, get more online profits, then we'll have both uh, sales in store and online and once we get that good balance going and also offer in store pickup people might want to go into the store and you know what you know I just got this book might as well get a coffee too next is local events a lot of people like local stuff I mean I know me personally I like going to local events I find it very entertaining and I know a lot of other companies like to sponsor these local events all these local businesses this is a huge opportunity that we can take, and this will bring a huge amount of people to our store. And also, we can get involved in the local community, help people out, donate books, do this kind of stuff, hold fundraisers for only a short amount of time, because obviously we don't want to be donating free books all the time, because that will get really expensive, just for like a week little promotion. Um, then we want to build a relationship with a customer. Now, you guys really don't really have that relationship feel where a customer wants to be loyal to your business. With our new membership plan and with all of our other things that we added, that will really help build up our customer loyalty and they will just want to keep coming back and then they'll recommend our store to others. Now, thank you for letting us present to Read Between the Lines. Yeah.